Hello, this is Haku the Bean, and I am here with r slash Tumblr once again to Tumble, yet again. If you like this video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. Now let's get right into this. Wheel of Fortune Puzzle H E Unknown Unknown O Category Greeting Contestant Spins Wheel Five Thousand Dollars Contestant L Hat No L this is a horror novel. It's W. It's gotta be W. If it isn't an L, it's a W. That's just the rules. <sighs> That's just the rules. So it's a whoa. My favorite Bible story is when instead of telling women to dress modestly, Jesus tells his dudes to avoid lust by plucking their eyes out. My man, Jesus! What story is that? Matthew 18.9 And if your eye causes you to sin, gouge it out and throw it away. <laughs> Jesus, how could I avoid sin when all these hussies keep revealing the fact that they have bodies? Battery, just keep in mind this is a, this is in the ancient Israel. Mm, tough call, bro. Have you tried gouging out your eyes so you don't have to see all those bodies anymore? What? What? Should you tell them to stop dressing like that or something? Don't see why. It's not their fault that the fact that they have bodies makes makes you ooh, a fucking sin and full whore dog. Gotta fix that problem yourself, buddy. Go on, blind yourself. Uh or learn to keep it in your goddamn pants. No matter what they wear. He goes on for like several examples too. How can I avoid, like, an accidental slip of the hand when they're dressing like that? Cut it off. What? Cut it off. Your hand. If it's a problem, stop having a hand. What? What? Did I fucking stutter? Jesus is literally the coolest dude ever. It's just a Christian and skip if I'm getting him wrong. End up perverting the message. Working with my jujitsu instructor tonight, and he's like, a part of the concept when practicing jujitsu is Tori Uke. The Uke is a person on the receiving end of the technique. And I had to clamp my mouth shut so hard when the person in performing. In the technique actually called the Seme. The old person uses standard Japanese athletic term. Me graduated at Tsukalad from Yao University, class of 2011. <laughs> I'm sorry. I hate words that aren't pronounced the way they're spelled. Fuck you, debris and indic and indicted and colonel and colonel is such a fucked up world. Or like it's not even real to me. Yeah, I. I, for just a second, always accidentally pronounce it how it's spelled. So I'm like, Colonel. Oh, right, Colonel. Frick. Once again, think about the time in high school English class, second language, when we were reading a text about wildlife preservation or something, and one of the species of birds mentioned were boobies, and our teacher was like, yes, it's a funny word, but it's, it is actually a type of bird. And drew it with the widescreen projector. It turned on for the whole class to see opened Google images on a computer and searched boobies. 
No way. That went so great, didn't it? <sighs> okay. I miss me first. Children are so uber funny. Debatable, but go off. Who thought I was even remotely okay to put this here? The point I know Vinay said it's a trap to prevent you from just holding right. Me standing outside your house with a bat is also a, a trap. It's to prevent you from just walking forward. God, I miss this. I'm a straight male, but damn, Luigi is hot. Ever re regret making a comment? And this is Netflix, not your harmony. Shut up, go outside, and get some game. The name of the game is your mom, and let's just say I'm already playing it. I love all the building in this game. I wish I could build a meaningful relationship with my parents. I wish squids were real. <laughs> How does Link drive? He can't even talk. He spends his time smashing other people's pots. Who gave him his license? They were not responsible. Who let five babies and a dinosaur drive? Dinosaurs shouldn't even be here. They're all dead. Take it back, Samantha. Take it back. This game is fun, but I hate my parents. <laughs> Goodness. <laughs> Reverse was unhinged. Behind the scenes of Godzilla, 1998. Man, why didn't they just have this guy fight off? Dude's huge. I wouldn't fight Godzilla if I was this dude's size. For roughly the same reason, I wouldn't fight. I had a, a moto dragon at size I currently am. Not even to save New York. What has New York ever done for me? Honestly, that's a good point. New York is literally the worst. YouTubers will see some super tame as safe for work for yard and be like, Oh god, why? My eyes, what is this? Why would you show me this? And I would it'll look like this. I've been on the it, it, it dark end of fairy art. I've seen what they are capable of. This, this is is nothing to me. It's honestly just cute. I cannot believe there are people on Tumblr.com who are commenting on this. I was like, um, yeah, deserve reaction. Furries and freaks. Like, friend, you are on Tumblr. <laughs> Laughing my ass. <laughs> Honestly, though. No. Really? The whole entire furry is a freaks thing kind of feeds into the whole entire or people in the LGBTQIA plus as, as community are freaks thing and it does not build well for me. It actually gives me a bad, bad vibe. Hmm. <sighs> Bruce Wayne, sitting in a cute, echo-friendly cafe while on a video call over with Tim. Oh no, are you sure there's no way the board of directors for let get rid of the old, decrepited Wayne factory building that is unsafe for our workers and also for the surrounding environment? CEO Tim with equal gravitas. No, I'm afraid they just won't budge. It technically meets the legal requirements on paper, and we can't prove that the chemicals affected the local ecosystem are out of are from the out of date drainage system. They're saying it would cost too much to fix the place up, too. Which is ridiculous because we're us, but our hands are tied. Oh, I just feel so sad for all the, the sweet, fluffy animals and the pretty flowers, especially our hard workers living with such unsafe conditions. I think I'll give them all a nice short vacation this place. So the entire place will be empty and shut down from Friday to Tuesday. The security system will be down because it's just so glitchy. I'm sure no one will do anything about the environmental state of our company's name that will be completely 
abandoned Friday to Tuesday. Timmy, do you think I'm being too subtle? No, no, you're doing great, Bruce. I'm sure they've got it. Poison Ivy on a date. Ate the next table over. Harley through tears of repressed laughter. So we doing anything in this weekend? <clears throat> now I'm imagining a scenario where Ivy and Harley go trash a place in a very public way and Batman just doesn't show up, like, at all. Prompting rumors about how Batman has a grudge against Bruce Wayne's Bruce Wayne specifically. Because why else would he and his flock of birds ignore two of their uh, rogues like that? Conspiracy theories are going crazy trying to decide if Batman and Sugar Daddy broke up or are just having a lover's quarrel. Oh my goodness, that's beautiful. Ignore the barking, if you will, please. I say ignore it. It's just a dumb dog. Cute. But still. What's up, webhead? No funny quips? I'll bite. Knock, knock. But my name is Shrunken and Bones. You've got nothing. Uh-oh. Thanks, Fireman. We got from here. You're welcome. Pardon me? I said you're welcome. Sorry, I have learned angitis. Oh my goodness. This is the best bonus story Marvel has ever published. So you guys, Fireman, make it no crimson you should code for someone freaked up and spies on a warpath. That's probably why the fourth guy just said, uh oh. Not to mention, since all the guys are actually conscious and afraid in the band, and heavily implies that the villains, in fact, had just surrendered in naked terror. Probably while begging Spy not to rearrange their skeletons. The fishbowl head guy is Mysterio, who cycled with Spider-Man enough times to know that when he's not quipping, it's generally a very bad sign, akin to when Batman starts smiling or laughing. Every time Spider-Man's been quiet, near silent, or or completely serious, it's usually because someone had screwed with his family badly and he's hit the breaking point, or because one of his loved ones is in danger, hurt, or dying. <sighs> oh yeah, Spider-Man actually holds back every time he fights with villains. How can I, and you tell? Their heads aren't flying off every time he punches them in the face. Yes, Spider-Man is actually that freaking strong. Dude can hold a whole entire building thing on top of himself and you expect him his punches to not be completely held back for the safety of the people he's fighting. He doesn't want to kill anyone. He doesn't kill. He's holding back a lot to ooh, ooh, make sure that goal is not broken. Anyway, back on to more important topics. Is that a freaking eye funny watermark? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be beautiful. I usually wear thick and oversized hoodies, sometimes two at, at the same time. Usually a scarf too. I'm not used to being covered in clothes, but it's like to be it's too freaking hot to be comfortable. I'm used to being covered in clothes, but it's like to be too freaking hot to be comfortable, so I had to go without. And the other cleat I have right now is sleeveless too, so I'm feeling weirdly let naked like this. And the goth lots I should laugh when she saw me and apologize before explaining that I look like a freshly sheared alpaca. I had no idea what the ever-loving fuck that means, so I had to Google it, and now I want to fight somebody. <laughs> Peeled. <sighs> Wait, so technically vampires are vegetarians? Oh, he elaborate. Blood is a non- Meat edible product, like dairy or eggs. 
That counts as vegetarian, don't it? Uh, mm, scritch, 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 scritch. I freaking guess. Why not? <laughs> Can we normalize? No. Oh, up to your freakish nature. Glad this resonated with all, all, all of the freaks. I love you. Stop normalizing me. I am not normal. Deal with it. Hang on. Me meeting a cis girl who's really into my chemical of romance. Is he in there? Can we get him out? God forbid a woman listens to any other type of music than pop. She listens to ma to rock, so she must be mad. Progressive. Wait, this is so fucking funny. I'm obsessed with this. Yeah, I'm FTO. Female to my chemical romance fan. <laughs> Standing up and black yet for a few seconds is just transitioning from a cutscene to the actual gameplay. You better fuck as you to eat sauce for what that means. Y'all imagine past lives were something common to knowledge and something you could actually remember, but thing is, high yet infant mortality through over the course of most human history would mean that most of these lives would be so brief that your mother in this particular life wouldn't get, even give you a name before you die of diarrhea. So your memories of past lives would be like toddler, death, toddler, death, toddler, death. Hey cool, I was a blacksmith. Toddler, death, toddler, death, toddler, death. I was a carpenter. Toddler, death, toddler, death, toddler, death. The, the infamous out whore who once sucked off a bishop. Toddler, death. Polio, lead poisoning, present day. People don't fear death because they don't know what's happening. They just hate having to go back to the stupid light Uba of shoot yourself and die speedrun until they manage to survive to adulthood again. Oh my goodness. That's pretty true though. My dad was raised Buddhist, and when I watched him, Bill and Ted with him, he was like, These guys are so unironically the most in line people on the planet. They're leaving Sepsir for sure. And that man has never been more right about anything ever. They're leaving Sepsir for sure. Let's go! Alright, let's see this. This is gonna be beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Colin 3 be like Lesson 3 is a party hat Covering the ice <laughs> This cat tried so hard Oh my goodness <laughs> Love ignoring things Eggs. Have you seen this terrible show? No, I'm the ignorer Can you believe what the celebrity He tweeted yesterday? I am the ignorer. I was like, who the hell cares about celebrities? <sighs> I utterly freaking despise American leftists who go, both sides bad, so me not voting. I hate them with all my heart. The Republican Party has always been crazy, but they have been accelerating towards fascism at great speed recently. They have been banning. In books concerning racism in America, kidnapping trans minors for their parents and forcibly detransitioning trans people by the thousands. And that's just in Florida. I'd even go as far as saying that we are on the verge of a trans genocide, and this is because Republican voters always find time to vote on everything from community councils to midterms to presidential elections. Meanwhile, a lot of American leftists will try to not vote all on anything just because it tickles her and thanks to imagine some fantasy revolution that fixes everything but because they're scared of being called liberals on Twitter is by other or leftists. I know the Democratic Party is much better, but something is always better than nothing. Democrats may be condescending and faux progressive, but they are a mile better than their counterparts. Is this pretty true? 
And actually, we aren't on the verge of a transgenocide, we are currently in the process of one. I think with the passing of the, the um, death sentence for anyone that Florida considers to be a sex criminal, which means all trans people, because that's what Florida considers to be sex criminals, because that's what literally every Republican has been calling us for decades now. Anyway. With this is getting the death penalty, we actually are on like step nine of 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 the genocide. Step ten is 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 the end. Trade your last name. You ain't even gay. I'll get right on that. This is the funniest post on this site. Everyone go home. Nothing is even is ever going to be better than an actual no gay man. On double.com, as we just ask. He isn't even gay. <laughs> Absolutely blown away by how there are climate change analysts in the Midwest, as the times have been swinging back and forth between the uh, 80s to the 40s and 50s all spring. Like, I know the Midwest, it has always been a bit of a mess, but I mean, snowstorms. It was two days after December attempts to getting tornado warnings in December and January. Is it normal? The Midwest doesn't have the same kind of severe weather as the West Coast and the wild areas and earthquakes on the South and East Coast with hurricanes and floods, so it's hard to see the more severe effects of climate change, but they're actually there to win on who's paying attention. There's no tornado season anymore, and the tornadoes do form are stronger and stronger. And as always, the people getting hit the worst by the worst of it are the poor and exploited communities that no one cares about in general. I'm scared, but I'm also tired of being scared, and the fact that no one around me seems to care or even realize that there's a problem isn't helping. Dang, this got political. <sighs> You know what? Love this. This is, uh, this is a good uh, final pass. At least I think so. Hmm. The sexy man wiki uses goddamn SCP classifications for its entries. The Wunzler. Class of Hollyon. <laughs> El, El, Alia says, Once he buys butter. Greedler, the OG sexy man. Source, the Lorax from 2012. Archetypes, duality. Suits guy, Fanon. Sans, class of Polyon. Alia says, Sans utter to El, the finger in his butt guy. Source, Undertale, Archetypes, Non-Human, Skeleton, Eye Imagery, Tongue Imagery, Glowing Neon, Duality, Fanon, Splintering, Flanderization, Thief Song, Fourth War, Blurring, Technically Antagonist, Ensemble Dark Horse, Mysterious, Apollyon, Unable to be contained and an active world-ending threat. <laughs> Nakato Omeida Kenner Alice says Komeda figures it in his butt guy Servant Ultimate Lucky Soon Super High School low, 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 Level Good Luck Source Dog and Rafa Bill Cipher Class Kenner Source Gravity Falls Archetypes Non Human I. Severus Snape. Class Ketter. Alias is Stavellus. Source Harry Potter. Screw the writer of that uh, at book series, by the way. Archetypes Angst. Dilf. Distinctive voice dominating. Marked Ketter and, and, and Fan and Divergence. Unkempt. 
The reason why there is a divergence is because the actual fans of Harry Potter hate JKR. And when she leaves out details of an entire character, or his backstory and everything, and decides to make them only as a racist joke, they turn that character, or trans, just to get at her. Raven, class Ketter, source Animal Crossing New Horizons, archetypes non-human, suit guy, white twink. Ketter, very difficult to contain, with persistent maintenance and effort required at all times. These are really a, a freaking an SCP classifications. Shadow the Hedgehog, class Euclid, Elias is it's really hard to say that word. The ultimate life form. Source, Sog the Hedgehog. Archetypes, Anks, One-Winged Angel, Hower. The Batter, Euclid. Source, Off, an RPG Maker game, I'm guessing. Archetypes, Fourth Wall of Luring, Angst, Dilf, Duality, Dominating, Flanderization, Father Figure, Gay. Euclid, Containment could be unreliable and requires continuous resources over time to do so. Guzma, Class, Safe, Alice says, Yo boy, Team Skull Boss, Big Bad Guzma, Source, Pokemon. Which generation? Can't just say Pokemon and expect anyone to know what the hell that means. Archetypes. Angst, dominating, distinctive voice, father figure, mysterious. How the hell does he have a distinctive a, a, a voice? Nobody in Pokemon has voices. Safe. Could be easily and safely in container with minimal or resources. Fenry. Unintelligible. Domiel. Alice's. Benry, Benny, Barney, Ferdy, Bentley, Benny, Benrill, Security Chief, Bofer, Strong, Biffle, John Wicker Level, Lover, Earn, 1994, Funny Benny, Domio. You specifically to contain other anomalous, I mean, sexy men. What the heck? Guzma is safe. Shockingly, no hemsuck to be found on there. SAP. A foundation, Tumblr Sexy Man. That. Okay. Life imitates art. Pretty sure this is fake. The outlines are too thin and black. Less good one here has 11 dots in his head when he actually has 8 in the show. There also is a single episode where Squidward isn't wearing his hat at work. Also, the colors are too flat. Spudfob uh, uh, doesn't look this digital. You really analyze this. Alright, I think that's it for today's Tumblr. <laughs> if you liked like this video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. And who knows? Maybe you can comment a suggestion of something for me to review for the next because today the Neon Genesis review just came out. Now you know how many days in advance these are made. Anyway, I'll see what I can uh, find to do tomorrow. But until then. Goodbye.